Hey everyone, it's Kim and today I'm here to share with you my design team project for Gina's Designs and I'm sure that you saw at the beginning of the video that this was a shelf. Um, it is a little shelf unit. It's uh, called the Pyramid Base Shelf and um, it is actually um, going to be used in my craft room uh, to store my thread. Um, I'm an avid sewer and uh, I have quite a collection of threads and sewing items so this is what I have created um, using the pyramid base shelf something um, to store my threads in and Gina's has tons of fantastic storage items this is just one of the new pieces she's got she has all kinds of new pieces and I'm going to put the link to Gina's store down below so you guys can go over and check out some of these amazing pieces so let me get started. It's really large, so let me, um, it might be a bit hard to film, but we'll do our best anyway. Um, I'm not sure if that light's better, or that is, or what. So just let me adjust my camera a bit here, guys. There we go. I think that might be a bit better. Maybe we'll do it this way. Let me adjust my camera. Sorry. Okay, let's do it this way. I think that might be better. Yeah. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a pyramid base shelf, and there you can see, and we're going to start at the top, actually, and work our way down. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So starting up here, starting up here, um, of course, we have the top of the shelf, and um, let me see if I can show you. There we go. I've used the Kaiser Craft paper called uh, Needle and Pin, and I really, really love this paper. It's very vintage sewing theme, and uh, it's got all these beautiful tans and creams and blues. It's got on the inside shelves here. Oh my gosh, the lighting's not so great here either. Let me see. There we go. You can see the um, paper there is all like rulers and measuring tapes and things like that. And I also use that paper down the side as well. And it's got these really cool vintage ladies, which was another reason I really liked this paper. And you can see one there. And then, of course, the two ladies in the middle shelf here. And the paper actually flows. That's actually one piece of paper, and it flows all the way down to the three shelves. And there you can see the bottoms of the ladies' dresses. And then it's got this really pretty, like, um, crocheted lace at the bottom. And then more of the um, ruler paper there. And then on this side as well, got another vintage lady right there. So what I did was, after I put this together, I gave it, of course, a coat of gesso. And um, then I painted it with a Martha Stewart um, Summer Haze, it's called. It's a very pretty blue color. You can sort of see it. Let me see here. Yeah, you can see it there. It's a really pretty, pretty blue color. I really like it. Um, and then after I did that, of course, I started to embellish. I added my papers. When I added the papers, um, I used Mod Podge to seal it, and I used the gloss Mod Podge, so that's why it gave it a really good, nice hard coat, and I really love the feel of it. Here's the back. This is another one of the Kaiser Craft papers. <laughs> I just love it because it's got these really cool uh, vintage spools on it. Now, this is 14 inches, so it's quite large. So, of course, it's not going to take one 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, so you'll have to match your paper up at the back like I did right here. Right along there, I matched it up. But, you know, it's the back. Nobody's going to see it. But 14 inches is a really good size. Um, for a sh little shelving uh, piece for your craft room. So, anyway, after I had papered in and Mod Podge and everything, I was able to start embellishing, and um, of course I used more Gina's goodies, and that is these beautiful button borders that you see here. These are also one of the newer pieces to Gina's store, and I did a lot of texturing on them, and uh, I used like some shimmers and some textures um, and then some texture paste and embossing powder and all kinds of stuff on them. So they've got this really neat uh, texture to them. So I think the camera's picking that up. And of course they go all the way. I just put, put some vintage uh, crochet lace along the top here and of course a few flowers and some wood pieces from my stash. And then down the side here, this is one of the sticker pieces that you get with the Kaiser Craft paper. Um, so I Mod Podge that down. It's like a, 
a long measuring tape. I thought that looked cool. And then I used some letters from my stash right here that spell out the word thread. And all I did with them was gesso them and um, then use the uh, Stampenda shabby white embossing powder on them. So I really like how they came out. I love that embossing powder. It's my favorite. On the sides, I used the same paper that I used on the back, that vintage school paper. And then on the front, down here, this is another piece from the sticker line, right here. And then these are three little um, wood uh, scrabble pieces from Witchcraft. And then I've just used some vintage buttons and things like that to, uh, you know, decorate and some jute here in the corner. And then the same with over here. Boy, that's hard to see. Sorry, guys. Uh, I hope you can see that anyway. Right there, more flowers, more buttons. And then here down the side, that I hope you can see, I have used more of Gina's um, chipboard pieces here. This is from her vintage sewing set. They're two little spools. And I just embossed them with some uh, turquoise embossing powder that I have. And then I added some vintage buttons and some jute. Coming back up here, this is one of Gina's scribble lines right here. She has a whole line of these, and they come in different like shapes, and they're just like scribbles. But I thought this was so cool, it looked like um, thread. So I had it coming out of the vintage sewing machine at the top, and it just kind of winds its way down. And then I added some vintage buttons, and these are the scissors from the vintage seamstress set of uh, Gina's designs as well. You get a whole, uh, a whole kit in the vintage seamstress set. It's really cool. Um, you get quite a few pieces in, in Gina's um, shape set pieces, so it's a good bargain anyway. And that is about it, I believe, and I'm super duper happy with this piece. I wish it was a little easier for me to film it. Sorry about that, but uh, let me see what we can do here. There you can see the, um, the scribble line coming down right there. And the thread, the spools, and going down to the bottom, more flowers. And this is the pyramid base at the bottom here. And you can see it's very wide, like there's my hand. So I have a lot of room here to store my thread, and it's much wider than the two top shelves. And that's what I really like about this, because I'll be able to stack probably three rows of thread in here, at least at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. And there you see my little flower clusters. More vintage buttons and vintage laces. So I did keep it fairly simple. I didn't like put a lot of um, embellishments on it because I'm really using this as a storage piece. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I hope that you guys like it. And I hope that you will go along and check out Gina's other new storage pieces that she's got because... Um, She's got a china cabinet, she's got a three-story shelf, a uh, three-story house, like all kinds of things that are fantastic storage ideas. Um, so yeah, definitely go over and have a look and uh, let me know what you think about my project. You can see I papered all the way on the inside and also up here as well on the tops of the shelf so that it's completely papered. Love this paper. Love, love, love. I actually got this paper at a cherry on top, too, just in case anybody wants to know. Um, that was the first time I shopped there, too, and I was really impressed with them. So, Good store. So anyway, this is my uh, current design team project for Gina's Designs. Uh, so let me know what you think, guys, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.